Becoming a dentist takes a long time. Not as long as becoming a medical doctor, especially with some of the residencies and fellowships that they do, but you're probably looking at four years of undergrad and then four years of dental school. And this doesn't include any additional time if you change your major multiple times, if you have to reapply, do a post back or master's program, or decide to just take a gap year. There is currently one dental school that is a three-year program, the University of Pacific, but soon there is going to be a second three-year dental school. That's right, Roseman is set to become the second three-year dental school program in the country. This is set to take effect this application cycle. So if you are applying to Roseman this year for the 2022-23 application cycle, you are applying to Roseman as a three-year program. I'm sure the first question jumping to a lot of people's minds is, so how much is it gonna cost? And I'm going to read something directly from the announcement that addresses this. Roseman University College of Dental Medicine will not be applying a full four years worth of tuition over three years in the new model. Rather, students will only pay three years of tuition, providing true cost savings. Roseman students will save about $130,000 in tuition and living expenses but will also benefit from an extra year of earning potential by graduating and entering the dental profession one year sooner. I really, really hope that this is the case, that they can manage to save students that much money because that is absolutely huge. It will be interesting to see the actual numbers because as of right now, they only have the tuition and fees up for a four-year program. The tuition for the four-year program that they're currently showing is $81,844. And the fees for the first year, it's $15,932. Your second year, it's $12,838. Third year is $12,530. And the last year is 12231 The estimated cost of living is $35,594 per year. So if you add all of that up, the total cost of attendance is $523,283. Getting a rough estimate based on what they said in the statement, if you just remove that last year of tuition, fees, and living expenses, that brings the cost of attendance for three years down to $393,613. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at UOP's tuition and fees, since they're the only three-year program in the country currently. Their tuition for each year is $121,750. The first year, your fees are just under $22,000, and then slowly go down each year. And so the direct total cost for the first year, as you can see, is $143,998. Year two is $135,172. And the last year is $132,471. Now, looking at the allowance that they estimate for cost of living, each year is $34,236. Maybe I'm missing something, but I don't see how it is more expensive to live here in Utah compared to San Francisco. But I've never lived in San Francisco. If any of you are from there or attend UOP, let me know how realistic this is for your living expenses. If you add all of that together, the total cost of attendance for the University of Pacific is $513,349. Cheaper than Roseman currently is, but nowhere near as inexpensive as it in theory will be when Roseman switches to a three-year program. Some other information that you might be curious about regarding Roseman becoming a three-year program. They will be steadily increasing the class size over the next couple of years. So the first year of the three-year program, the class size will remain 100. For the 2023-2024 school year, the class size will increase to 120 students, 
And then the year after that, so 24, 25, they will increase the class size to 136 students, which is where it will remain after that, which will keep the total number of students in the school around 400 once they reach that point. I will be also curious to see if with the change in the class size, the student to faculty ratio gets adjusted, or if they just increase the class size and keep the same number of faculty, because there have been times, especially in sim clinic, where you're waiting for 10, maybe 15 minutes for faculty to come and check your work, and the same can sometimes be true in the clinic, waiting for prep checks, final checks, and codes to be completed. Um, I would hope that the faculty to student ratio would become a little better, but time will tell. Another way that switching to a three-year program will impact students at Roseman is the curriculum. Roseman has a block curriculum, so rather than taking multiple classes all at once and being slammed during finals week, you have a class that is anywhere from two to about four weeks long, and you have that one class only, you take the exam, and then you move on to the next class. In order to change this, there will be some overlap in the start of one class and the end of another class, but it will still be way more manageable than having multiple classes, multiple exams on a day during finals week. So I still think it will be totally manageable and help students to maintain a good balance in their lives. Something else that will be interesting to see is how they change clinic time here at Roseman. They do a good job getting you in the clinic fairly early. In my first year, I was up in the clinic mostly assisting, but by the end of that first year, you're doing things like comprehensive exams, profies, some SRPs, and some simple like one surface fillings. So I think that's a, a good experience, especially in your first year. But in order to condense all of the clinic time into three years, I'm not sure if they'll have to do something similar to UOP in introducing night clinic and weekend clinics just so students are having all of that clinical experience. If they do have to introduce night and weekend clinic, that will definitely make this program much busier than it currently is, but it will still be fairly manageable. There have been rumors for a really long time about Roseman's Dental School becoming a three-year program. And it's kind of crazy that it's actually happened. They received the approval and it will start next year. During my time here, I've seen changes be made, such as breaks being shortened, the length of certain courses being adjusted as well, in my mind, so that they could prove that a three-year program at Roseman would work. And like I said, it's just crazy that it's no longer a rumor and is becoming a reality next year. 